Hey there folks, Mark here on the Culinary Compass, back in the garden. So what I'd like to do today is show you a couple of the tools that I find myself using the most. They are what I consider to be the indispensable tools. All right, number one, this is a trowel, basically. And the thing I love about it is I've got a standard kind of hoe edge. And on this side, I've got a three-tined trowel. Um, now, the other thing is I have a hammer here. Because this is a metal side, I often find myself holding onto stakes and bang, bang, bang. Um, so you've got a whole variety of things here that are fantastic. Uh, the other thing that's really great about this is the handle is well made out of wood. And there's a nice kind of rubber gripper over here. I find myself using this tool all the time. Digging into the dirt basically to prepare beds, loosening up my compost or other things that I need to just aerate a little bit. I'm basically carrying this everywhere I go. Okay, so here's a second tool. Um, this is called a vice grip. Um, it's a really kind of cool plier-like instrument. What do I use this for in the garden is, I know as we set up our hoses in the spring or take them apart, we often find ourselves with our two hands grabbing onto the hose and trying to tighten it that way. Uh, more often, of course, you're probably taking your hose and connecting it to the spigot on the side of your house. And this tool, when gripping the actual hose, the edge, can be used to tighten really tight, which is, of course, what we want, to the spigot. It's a, it's a gripper and easy to maneuver. Um, I actually have two of these so that if there's a hose that I've connected to another hose, I can grab one hose, grab the other, twist, and voila, you are all ready to rock and roll. So two vice grips in the garden. Get the ones that are bigger like this. They're easier to hold. And again, always buy materials that are the higher quality. Spend the extra $5, the extra $10. When you get your tools, look for wood and look for metal. No plastic, no plastic. You'll end up finding you have to buy a new tool the next year. And nothing could be worse than being in the garden and your tool breaks and you need to get that thing done. Okay, so number three today, trowels. I hate this trowel. The reason I hate this trowel is it's good for pretty much only one thing, digging in the garden. Now, take a look at this trowel. Just like any other trowel, no. Look at the edge. If you take a careful look, you're gonna see teeth. I use that all the time to cut things. We're often using twine in our garden to twine up different kinds of plants. We're often taking things and dividing them and need to kind of cut some of the root on the bottom. Uh, so having, again, a trowel that has that edge, hey, it's a multi-use tool and I actually do find myself using it as often to cut things as I do to dig. And finally, the last tool I wanna show you today is this little bag, okay? And there's some seeds in here. Now, this is an amazing little thing. And as you can see, the piece that goes on top, just take a quick look, you'll see that there are these little grooves in it, these little slots. But if you take a look, you'll notice there are these numbers on the top. And those numbers correspond basically to the size. So for certain types of things, like for example, lettuce seeds, you get your lettuce seeds in here. You take the top, you put it on, you press it down and connect it. And then you go ahead and you dial to the size you want for those seeds to come out. You're not sure? Then go ahead and get your hand here and go ahead and gently shake and you can see the seeds are coming out. This is a perfect, this is a perfect um, uh, number for these seeds. Why? Because the seeds aren't coming out too fast. They're coming out just about right for me to then move down my row and do this to get them in. You know about pinching those little lettuce seeds and you end up having a really hard time getting them even. So that's it for the Culinary Compass today. Remember, good tools make for good gardening. Ciao for now.